Hi, uh, welcome to my second part on direct proportion. So these examples involve looking at formulas with squares and cubes, square roots and cube roots. So these are a little bit harder than the first ones that I did in the first part. So example one then is y is directly proportional to the square of x. When x equals 5, y is equal to 150, we need to find a formula for y. So since y is directly proportional to the square of x, this means our formula will take the shape of y equals k times by x squared. So we next need to substitute the numbers into this formula here uh, to give the value of the constant, which is k. So this is what we're trying to work out. So if we sub these numbers into our formula, we get 150 equals k multiplied by 5 squared. Now, we know that 5 squared is 5 times 5, that's 25. So let me just copy that down on another line. So we just need to now figure out what k is by solving the equation. So we can do this by doing the opposite of times 25 which is to divide both sides by 25. So 150 divided by 25 is 6, and this will give me k. So I know that k is equal to 6. So finally, I just need to write down my final answer. So if k is 6, my formula will be y equals 6x squared. So let's move on to example 2. So this time m is directly proportional to the cube root of p. When p equals 64, m is equal to 20. Find a formula for m. So since m is directly proportional to the cube root of p, this means my formula will take the shape m equals k multiplied by the cube root of p. So we can write it down like this. So again, we just need to substitute our numbers into our formula so we can figure out what our constant is. So let's sub these in. So m is 20, and k is what we're trying to find. So it's k times by the cube root of 64. So you should know that the cube root of 64 is 4, because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So we can write this on our next line down. So we've got 20 equals k times 4. So we just solve this equation then by dividing both sides by 4. So 20 divided by 4 is 5, and that is equal to k. So our constant of proportionality is 5. All we, do need, all we need to do next is copy our formula down again, but this, change, this time change the k to 5. So our final answer will be m equals 5 cube root of p. Thanks for watching.